Sugar, you just don't know how far I've come. I just keep telling myself not to get too excited about it. I'm going to tell you, it's real hard. Sometimes I just want to burst. Well, what, Luna? <laughs> don't keep me hanging. I walked on my own. What? Now, it was just one step. But I wasn't, I wasn't holding on to those bars right there. I let go, and I took a step. Oh, Luna, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <gasps> What'd your therapist say? I bet he was so proud of you. My therapist, uh, Brent, he, he wasn't here. He wasn't with me. But, you know, I, I don't like him very much. There's something about him. I just Wait don't know. Wait a minute. You mean you did this on your own? That could be very dangerous. Oh, no, I wasn't. I wasn't by myself. I, I was with, uh... Oh, come on in. It's open. Hi. Hello. You look great. So do you. She's very pretty. Yes, she is. Your wife? Oh, no, no, no. You said you weren't married. Mm. Oh, your mistress then, hmm? My sister. Hmm. I have trouble seeing the family resemblance. I... Ah, the smile, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> My guess would be, with that smile, an unmarried man like you must have a great many girlfriends, yes? Actually, Condessa, right now, I'm a lot more interested in money. Oh. Then we're going to get along very nicely. It's a very simple question, Rebecca. When Todd found you outside the student union that night, the night he asked you to marry him, the night you said no, did you kiss him? Yes or no, Rebecca? Yes. What are you talking to her for? What lies is she telling you about me? No, you see, as usual, you've got things twisted, Todd. You're the liar and the rapist. In fact, you raped a woman right outside in the hospital no, parking lot. No, I didn't. Lot. She's a nut job, Dad. You know that. You're not going to believe somebody like that. I mean, I'm your son. I'm telling you, I didn't do that. You don't believe her, do you? Of course I do. You don't think anyone's ever going to believe you again, do you, Todd? Certainly not me. Dad, listen to me. She is lying. I can't believe that you would even say that, that you believe her and not me. I'm your son. Excuse me, but I want to try to get as many signatures on this as I can God tonight. Damn it, Marty, you can't do this to me. Why not? You got in a lot of petitions to the governor to get yourself pardoned. It was a conditional pardon, wasn't it? Well, maybe a different kind of petition. One that says you've been making our lives miserable, that we want you back where you came from. That might work, right? So you'll have to excuse me. I've got to get busy. I can't believe that you'd even talk to her. Lying little slut. You used to think that, remember, you would say that back at the trial. Remember, lying Todd, would you slut. stop whining? Dad, please. You were convicted of rape and sent to prison, something I will never be able to live down. And now you've raped again. No, I didn't. Hmm? Look, I am trying to start my life over again. I am free, I've got a job, and I swear I didn't disgrace you again. I swear it. I asked you to be quiet. Would you do that, please? I'm not interested in your explanations. Are you here, right? I mean, you came all the way to Lambie. Why would you do that if you didn't care? I'm your son, Dad. You want to know why I came? To find out how much damage I'd have to face this time. The first time you were convicted, it cost me millions in canceled accounts. Dad, I, I know that. Could you go to prison quietly? No. You escaped. You killed a man. It was an accident. And then you kidnapped that Lewis girl. Your name was all over the news again, costing me even more clients. And then after they finally captured you, <laughs> you turned into a hero, saving lives. You got yourself pardoned. And then you got yourself arrested for rape no, again. I haven't been arrested. I haven't I done mean, anything. Will I ever know a moment's peace? So, you know, frankly, I was hoping you'd be back in prison by the time I got here. But no, apparently you're not, due to some technicality or other. Technicality. I'm you know, innocent. Tom, I wish you'd understand this. Prison is the best place for you. Because you'd be safer behind bars. 
walking around loose like this. Somebody's bound to try and kill you yeah, eventually. Right, like you'd ever be concerned for my welfare. My God, how could I ever be so stupid? I really thought, you know, I really thought that, that you would be on my side this time. Like you, you have never been on my side. I don't know why I thought you could be now. But you know what, Dad? I don't care anymore. I don't need you. Because I've got somebody else who believes in me. And she always will. Hal, Hal, you have to let me explain. Now, don't blow up and go racing after Todd, okay? You've got I'm to I'm not going to go me. after Todd. There's no point. See, when Todd... When he kissed me, I mean... I mean, it just happened. I was totally surprised. You see, I... When I ran into him after that group therapy session, he was so... He was so desperate, and he was so alone. I tried to tell him to keep fighting. I tried to encourage him, but I guess he misinterpreted. Did he? Because he came and found me later that night outside the student union when he asked me to marry him. Pal, are you listening to me? Every word. I, I, I tried to explain to you how, how desperate he was and Anyway, it just happened. What about earlier tonight when you went to his, his, his room? That just happened, too? In a way, yes. I mean, look, I don't know what he told you, but if he made it sound like I just showed up at his door, well, that's just not true. Oh? No. No. See, I ran into him earlier in the park. It, just by accident, and... And I ran into him, and I was sort of scared. I, I mean, I wasn't sure if he had really raped that nurse at the hospital. So... So he told you that he was innocent? Yes. And you believed him? Yes. I, honest, I honestly believe he didn't do that. I mean, I think he's being Rebecca, accused... Rebecca, I don't care about that. What I care about is this, why you went to Todd's room, why you kissed him, why you didn't tell me about it. Well, I was going to tell you that I'd gone to see him, but it just wasn't any time. What about kissing him? Were you going to tell me about that, too? Assuming you had the time, of course. I, I just kept putting it off because... Oh, you're so quiet. I mean, I, I, I don't understand. I really thought you'd explode when I told you this. That's why... That's why I kept putting it off. Why are you so quiet? Why? Because I'm not angry, Rebecca. I'm just sad. There's nothing to be sad. This is all clear to me now. Finally, it's crystal clear. You love Todd. You always have. You always will. And whatever we had, our relationship, everything, it's over. beautiful. Well, they reminded me of you. That's why I had to have them, so you could have them. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> boy, oh boy, Max, you never gave me flowers like that. I'm not going to touch that, Tina. <laughs> Listen, um, I should probably get those in some water. Why don't I get a vase or something, and I'll... I'll... Well, uh, Take care of that for oh, thank you. Right. There's right. there's a couple of them right in the other room, uh, right right by the bed. Great, got it. Oh, uh, listen, uh, I I gotta make a couple calls if, if that's all right. Uh, some of the people from my gamblers outreach group they want to change the meeting time. I said I'd coordinate it. Oh sure, no problem. Go right ahead. If there's one right by the dresser. Okay, be right back. Okay. Well. 
You two are still so crazy about each other. Well, I guess I do. Yeah, I, get, I do look forward to him coming by. That's great. You know who was with me when I took my first step away from those bars? Max. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's been really great. I, uh, a week after I had my operation, I started to get some feeling back in my legs, and the doctor said that that was real good, and they, they said I might get all the feeling back in my legs and I might be able to walk again, but uh, I didn't believe him. I, I really didn't. But Max did, and he, he's never given up hope on me. He's, uh, and I'm, 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 not, I'm starting to feel so strong again, and, you know, taking that step, Alone. Who knows? I'm, I might be able to, to to come all the way back. You just never can tell. Oh, sure you are. And Max is doing real well too. Did you hear him talking about how those calls he's got to make to his group? Who knows? I might be. They might be making him president of it or whatever they call it. <laughs> and why not? He's a born leader too, isn't he? Whatever he's doing. <laughs> yeah. And what about you and Max? Are you guys gonna make it back together too? Well, I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like to predict the future. Do you still love him? Of course I do. I never stopped. Then the answer is yes, you're going to get back together. Well, I... Uh, you have finally forgiven him. Well, Tina, it's more than forgiven. I... No, I've... Well, what about you? You know, I haven't heard you say one word about what's going on between you and your brother David. What's up with that? Well, I've been trying to stay away from him, Luna, but it's been hard. The way I feel about him sometimes. What? The other day, he was brushing my hair, and it was everything I could do to keep from grabbing him. No, 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 not like that. Look, Luna, you would have been very proud of me. I was totally cool. In fact, I even brought it out in the open. Brought what? How we feel about each other. And then David was great. You know, he just said that, well, I don't remember exactly the words he used, but he just said, no problem, everything is fine. That is weird. Are you sure he understood what you were talking about? Oh, of course, the brother-sister thing, oh yeah, and how we feel so strongly toward each other and the attraction, yes. And he thinks that's all right. <clears throat> well, no, no, I'm giving you the wrong impression. I mean, I'm explaining this very badly. I mean, if... If you knew David, you would understand. And if you were with him, oh, I'm telling you, it's just, what can I say, it's perfect. And you know what, I bet he's pretty upset with me right now. Why? Well, I haven't been coming by. Brothers and sisters are supposed to be close, right? Well, there's close, and then there's close. You know, in fact, I might go see him tonight and cheer him up. Tina, you better be careful. I will. No, I know you're going to try. But I mean, all right, all right, let's look at it like this. Even, what if he wasn't your brother? You wouldn't be that close to him right now. You wouldn't because, I mean, what do you really know about him? I mean, really know about him? Not much, except he's the sweetest, kindest man in the world. Very handsome and totally sincere. It was very sweet of you to drive in from Philadelphia, Condessa. I would have come to you. Oh, please. You must call me Magdalena, Mr. Victors. Oh, well, then you better call me David. I will, with pleasure. You know something? When I spoke with you on the telephone, I had no idea how attractive you'd be. Thank you. Is it too forward of me to say I also was surprised at how handsome you are? Well, I guess we're getting along awfully well. <laughs> Thanks for seeing me. Oh, I am always happy to share a drink with a handsome gentleman. Especially one who is interested in purchasing my villa. Yes, this certainly is a gorgeous piece of property. Mm. You are interested in buying soon, I hope. Oh, definitely. I uh, will actually be leaving Landview soon. And the U.S., as a matter of fact. I'm looking for the right place to relax for a while. 
70 kilometers from Sevilla, mm -hmm. is it? Mm -hmm. Rural, off the beaten path. Mm. Yes, it sounds perfect for you. But if you don't mind my asking... What? Why would you want to leave such a lovely home and your family? Oh, I have my reasons. Or I will have them, anyway. Soon. In the morning, I will have the first year's lease for you, $50,000. And then I'll have the option to buy. Will that be all right with you? <laughs> you saw. The brochure gives the full price for my estate, David. Yes, I know. One million American dollars. I know. And that is firm. Right. I'm sure it is. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have all of that right now, which makes leasing very attractive. But you can afford the 50000 Oh, yes. I got that much by doing someone a favor. My. It must have been a very special favor. Oh, yes, it was. And the lady was very grateful. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, but excuse me. Uh, what happens at the end of the year when your lease is up? Oh, don't worry. By then, I'll definitely have enough money to buy. Cash. Do you have my word on that? But I don't understand. If you have none of the million dollars now, then how could you possibly get so much by the end of one year? Let's just say my ship is about to come in. Fine. I don't need you. You don't need me. I've got somebody else who cares. But you won't dump on me all the time. So go ahead. Get out of here. Goodbye, Dad. You know, we can skip the Christmas cards this year. Miss Saybrook. Excuse me, Miss Saybrook. That petition you have, did you say it was asking the governor to revoke my son's pardon? Yes. Can anyone sign it? You're going to see this all differently. It was one kiss. You're blowing this way out of proportion. You know, something part of me wishes I could make it like it was before. But you can. We can. I wish I could turn a blind eye. I wish I could just get furious and blame it all on Todd and go barreling after him and beat him up. Pal! I, I can't. Not anymore. I know now. Nothing will ever change the way you feel about Todd. No, no, you're so wrong. I, I love you. And what about what you feel for me? What about that love? Doesn't that count for anything? Yes, it counts. That's why it hurts. I love you. I love you. And I will never, ever be able to forget you. Sometimes I think I've been looking for you my whole life. Someone to love. The way I love you. Why do you think I woke up in the middle of the night and, and wrote all those poems? Sometimes I'd go days and not be able to think about anyone but you. And then when I thought that you would love me just as much, my God, I'd never been happier. You have such pretty hands. So soft. Delicate. Small. I love seeing you wear this ring. Please keep it. Pal, no, no, you... Don't talk like that. Don't leave me. I love you. What is the point lying to ourselves, Rebecca? It used to work when I wouldn't let myself see the truth, but I know now. Don't you understand? I know. I can't erase the truth. You love Todd. No, I love you. Oh, my God. Don't leave me, please. I love you. 
I think you do. In part. But when you go deep down in your heart, that's where Todd is. You know that, and so does Todd. No. I'm sorry, but I need all your love. I thought I had it, but I was wrong. I'm just so sorry. Bye. Anyone can sign. Yes, you don't have to be a Dad, member of the please, hospital please, staff. Please, no. Excuse me. No, Dad, think about it, right? Just think about it for one second, okay? Think about it. Think about, like you said, all the TV shows, all the sleazy TV shows, the newspaper ads. Think... What would the governor say? Come on, think about what the governor would say if he found out that my own dad signed his petition and be signing a death warrant, Dad. Oh, my God, Dad, you're my father. Please. Please don't. Are you happy now, Marty? Have you finally done enough? You had me thrown out of my room. Now you have my dad sign some stinking petition to send me back to jail. Are you proud of yourself, Marty? I didn't start this, Todd. Let me tell you something. I don't care about you. I don't care about my old man. I don't care. Excuse me. I'm not going to excuse you. I want that petition back. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not going to let you keep my father's name on that petition. He, he's just mad at me because of all these lies. He didn't mean it. Back. Don't even think about touching me. There must be half a dozen people watching us right now. I won't even need this petition if you do something stupid. Please. Do I have to call security or are you going to let me pass? Look, you keep your stupid petition. I don't need it. Let you break me, Marty. I'm not gonna let that happen. I can take anything. And I am stronger than all of your lies. Do you leave already? I hope she went home and went straight to bed alone. <laughs> well, it's probably getting late. You, you probably need to get on home, huh? I mean, your sister Andy's probably waiting up for you. No, she isn't. And besides, if I were to leave now, I'd miss a little surprise that's coming for the two of us. It's being delivered right here. In here? Mm-hmm. Well, now, if I told you that, you wouldn't be surprised now, would it? Anyway, uh, there's something I, I, I wanted to say to you, uh, something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Okay. So you know how I've been going to the uh, Gambler's Outreach meetings every day for quite a while now, and, uh, well, sometimes twice a day. 
There's something I think I figured out. I mean, at least a little bit. Why everything went wrong, you know? Uh-huh. See, when we got married, I had everything. The best of everything. And I'm not really sure I deserved it. Why not? Maybe there's some little voice in the back of my head saying I didn't deserve to be so happy. And then when the gambling thing came around, I don't know, it was never a problem before, but all of a sudden it was... It was like I had this opportunity to sabotage everything, sabotage all that happiness. Max. And it happened. I mean, everything ended. Uh, I lost everything. I lost the best of everything. But I'm working my way back. Maybe sometime I'll know everything, can't say. But I can say this. I'm going to beat this addiction. And I'm going to make things better than they ever were. And that's a promise. And you will love the evening, soft breeze coming through the olive trees. Mm, I can't wait. Mm. I will be in touch with you in Philadelphia tomorrow. Promise. I just have to get the bank to certify the check. Oh, yes. Such a silly formality, that certified check. But one must always be safe, no? Absolutely. Mm. When money's involved, some people will do anything. So I've heard. <clears throat> oh, don't forget... Uh, these. Oh, no, no. I would be pleased if you would keep the photographs. After all, they may keep your uh, interests in my estate alive. No problem there. <laughs> I can't wait for your ship to come in. And to see you in Spanish. I can't wait myself. I'll bet it's a great place to live. <laughs> I'll uh, hear from you mañana. Yes. And I'll see you soon. En España. <laughs> sí. En España. Adiós. So long. Oh, just hang in there. Pretty soon you are going to have everything you ever wanted. Tina, hey there. What's up? Liar. 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 Listen, I will, uh... The dinners are in a warming tray below. Yeah, got it. Don't worry. No <laughs> and, uh, about the wine it. is yes. Yes, a 1982 Burgundy. Love it. Oh, thank yes. you. This Enjoy your awesome. meal. I've got it all. Thanks. <laughs> You're right. Wonderful. Oh, come back. Well, I sure wasn't ready for this. Yeah, well, I, I thought we needed a meal to remember, so I ordered one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hope you're hungry. Well, I sure better be. <laughs> Good. Well, listen, uh, let's start off with a nice bottle of Chardonnay. Let's see, we have right here a Burgund Burgundy? No, we can't, we can't, <laughs> we can't drink Burgundy with this dinner. Listen, let me go catch the waiter, get the right bottle of wine, be back just a sec. You're always so full of surprises, Max. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a surprise. When you get back, 
I am going to surprise you. You've been lying to me. About what? I saw that, that ticky-tacky piece of Euro trash you just left. Oh, the Condessa? And I heard everything. You did? Yeah. Enough, anyway. I heard you tell her that, that you were going to go live with her in Spain. Oh, no, Tina, that was nothing. What are you talking about, nothing? It's not nothing, it's something. How can you do that? You, you told me you were going to stay in Landview for good, and now you're leaving me? Why? Wait, Tina, don't you think maybe you're just overreacting a little bit? No, I don't. to work it out. No, you don't understand. He's gone. I've lost him. I don't know what I'm ever going to do. Oh, Haggerty and I saw you sitting here alone. Are you okay? Mm, no. No, not really. What's wrong? Uh, it's, it's Rebecca. I can't even say it out loud. Um, it, it's over between us. I know. I know how much you care about her. I'm sorry. It's because of Todd, isn't it? Yeah. I kissed her. What? That's where I first kissed her over there. It's funny how we remember these things. Yeah. You know, I thought when I had to face up to the truth about what I, I'd done to you the night of spring fling, I, I really thought that that was going to be the hardest thing I'd ever have to do in my life. I just locked myself in that room. I know. Well, I had to face the truth again tonight, but I didn't feel any relief or peace, just pain, anger. What happened? What happened? Oh, it's the old story. I was just fooling myself, telling myself that Rebecca didn't feel anything for Todd except pity. You know, even after she did all those things for him, time after time, I just kept rationalizing it away. Like, it was this uh, Christian thing she's got, looking out for lost souls. It was just pity. It wasn't love. She, she loved me. She said so. It wasn't Todd. I mean, you know, we were the ones who were engaged. We set a date. Can't be Todd. Whatever feeling she had for him, I, I knew that that wasn't love. But it was. Yeah, it was. And it always will be. Like I said, old story. Frankly, if you ask me, it's a twisted kind of love. But that doesn't make me feel any better. She loves him. She's given her heart to him. She's his. And now, now he'll destroy her. Todd destroys anything he touches. Pity, say, Dad, why'd you follow me out here? I can't let you go. Not Just like go this. back and not like this, all right? You have nothing Just more hear me to out for one minute, all right? Just for other. one minute. 
I didn't rape that nurse. Would you lower your voice? You gotta go back in there and you gotta take your name off of that petition. Everybody... I'm gonna think you don't care about me, Dad. Well, then they'd be right, wouldn't they? Now, what I do care about is turning this car in at the airport and catching that midnight plane. Look, you gotta go back in there and you gotta and take I your name off. I'm not going to go back into the hospital and take my name off a petition I was glad to sign. Oh, look, I'm not gonna let you go home and thinking that I'm... So kind. So kind. Why do you hate me? Give me those What do keys. I have to do to get you to, to think about me the way you used to? You used to care about me. You used to care about me. You remember? You remember I, I won that game against Southern Virginia. I ran back that fumble and you were so proud of me. I have to go. Oh, Dad, don't, please, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me! Tina, what was that all about? Tina, come on. You come in here, you slam the door, you say I'm leaving you, and then you slap me. What is going on? I don't know. Oh, well, look, it's, it's okay. Just don't start crying. You're free to see any woman you want. Right. Any time you want. Mm-hmm. And you can live anywhere you want. Yeah. But just don't dare tell me that it's nothing if you leave me. To go live with some, some cadet in some sunny old España. Because it isn't nothing. Tina, of course not. I don't know what I would do if you left me. And you are, aren't you? Oh, Tina. No, Tina. You are. Oh, shh. I am not going to leave you. I'm not. Tina, I could never leave you. You mean way too much to me to do that. Ever, Tina. Ever. I can do this. I can do this. When Max walks in that door, I'm gonna be standing. And then, I'm gonna walk to him. He's gonna be so surprised. I can do this. I can do it. All right. Let go of listen me, to me Todd. Listen to me, Ted. Please I have don't. a play out. You can count another stupid plane. Don't you gotta you talk to me. Don't you raise your voice to Look, me. I'm in a lot of trouble here, all right? They're gonna send me back to prison for something that I didn't do. Save and it's it. just not right. We have it's not nothing right for more you to, to say. Put your name on a petition and just leave me here. Don't like you this. dare tell me what I can and cannot do. You of all people. Dad. You I'm... have no right to tell me anything. You are a total and complete disgrace. A disaster. And where do you get off with the arrogance to tell me that I should help because you're oh, my I son? Was most fun. I told you this before, but maybe you just don't have enough brains to remember. You're not my son. You have ruined my life, and I want nothing more to do with you. Nothing. Now get out of here. Just get away or I'll, I'll call the security. Dad. Oh, my God. Dad. Oh, Dad. Oh, my God. God. 